Alrighty, it's Mario Masters 1, and welcome back to Let's Play Tingles Rosy Rupee Land. Um, the last part we just began by becoming Tingle, and um, this is Port Town. And the first time I came here, I was like so astounded. I, I the music went so good with the personality of the people, like, the music sounds arrogant, and, like, the, just like the guard said, uh, the people will only talk to you if you give them money, so they're greedy, they're, I guess in a way, sort of arrogant, but it's, it's crazy. So pretty much what I'm doing here is just going around and making everyone available to me. As you can see here, you can sell treasure for a very low amount of money, but still something. And also, sorry if I'm going through the text super fast. Uh, it's because I play at slow speeds. Because my emulator is slow. Dazzle, I is the hero stone. Town zero. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he died. He fought for enemies. He didn't fight for free. He was greedy. Surprise there. Um, treasure in town. Oh, and then he goes on about how the sword is, like, politically incorrect and... I don't know. Um, that's the armor. If you couldn't figure that out, ha ha ha! I don't know why she's laughing at me. Um, that's stuff. More things you can sell for practically nothing. And here's the old lady. Uh, we talk to who doesn't have a husband anymore. And, hooray, fish rock. So, for each thing you complete on your map, you get a certain amount of money. Also, those prices I was, uh, paying to talk to them, those were the best possible prices. So, I guess if you're playing along with me, uh, with those prices, I'm gonna try and do the best prices for everything. So, there you go. Um, so I just bought back the map because eventually you're going to have to buy it back for some reason. I don't really know because I haven't beaten the game yet. I am pretty far in it though. I'm not going to spoil anything. And fairy doll, that's what we got in the last part. And she's happy now. She's not crying anymore. I'll show you something. Come to the town zero statue. Come on, I'll go there first. I'll wait for you. Okay. Now, can I have a word? Seems you're. That is her mother. Chico's mother. Um. So here's the best price, like the best amount of money you can get from her mom. Sixty rupees. Nothing too bad. I mean, for this part in the game, anyways. And I thought he'd have... Uh... A bottle, but... Because you can get a bottle from him later on. I think... I don't know. I... I blasted through, like... The... First half of the game already, I think. And this is just super not grindy, super getting bones. Um, <laughs> oh, I like this. This is pretty funny, actually. Greetings! I am this town's legendary hero. I'm going to give you a reward for finding my fairy 
What? Ah. Hello. Uh, she. I was playing with my fairy here the other day. She got a little carried away and kicked the town hero. This came loose. Go through there and you can go under the ground. The armor said there was something good under there. We're gonna be. See you later. Or see you after. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm blasting through this. And who's that guy? We'll never know. He's the green goblin. <laughs> he looks like a green goblin of goblin of some sort. So to get in any dungeon, which this is, you're gonna have to pay a certain amount of rupees. Fifty being uh, the amount for this dungeon. You may pass. So fifty rupees is like nothing compared to the later dungeons because. Sometimes you have to like, yeah. What a jerk! Interrupting me. Come on. Anyways, for like some dungeons, I had to like grind and get rupees, and um. <clears throat> oh man, I think there's. I think my yeah, my throat's dry. I don't know. But I had to grind rupees and, um, get things, and things are happening so fast. Those are pots, obviously, um, if you're new to Zelda, you slash at those with your sword, except in this game, you slash at them with your tingle. So don't go, don't get those rupees, because those are 95 rupees, right? If you get those, you'll have 95 rupees, but the little thing will go up, and you have to put 100 rupees down, so you won't have those 5 rupees that skeleton gave you. This dungeon is very basic, and it's also very easy. <laughs> I remember when I did the first boss, I had so much trouble on it. Not too hard, in, in retrospect. Also, I remember I had to grind here because... Wow. Not because of that. So it looks like we're going to need two people to stand on those switches. Or, or we have to get fatter. It's really our choice. I mean, we could eat rupees. I don't know those. I don't know if that would be too tasty. So two rupees. Four rupees. Also, I'm sure not to get in any fights because those bats do quite a bit of damage, actually. Yo, sup? You saw it, didn't it? My awesome strength. My super stomp power. I'm the best, man. Yo, yo, yo. Leave it to me. So, you just want to pay Teddy Toto 20 rupees and he's going to be your best in buckaroo. Uh, so, he's your bodyguard now. He will guide you. Yeah, he will go. My tongue is slipping up so many times, man. He will guard you with his body. With his with his very life. So um if you get in a fight, now you will take like half damage if he comes in there too. Those yellowish rupees are ten, so yeah. Oh, here here's a awesome part coming up. <laughs> oh, that's that's the best. I know it's like nothing, but I just find that amusing for no reason. Oh, these were hard for me the first time through because A, I wasn't playing at slow speeds, and B, I didn't have that many rupees. Um. Yeah, you can get screwed over by these spikes, but notice how Mr. Toto doesn't get hurt by the spikes. 
Also, you can look up on the top screen to see um, where the spikes are. I figured that out as I was playing, so I don't take advantage of it quite yet, I guess. This chest has 78 rupees! A weird number for a chest to contain. No, I thought it was pretty weird. <laughs> I was checking to see if that did something else. I don't know, I thought it would do more. But, um, yeah, eight, eight rupees, that, that hurts. And I'm gonna get two back. You can also sort of see, oh no. Uh-oh, so we got three of these guys. 16 rupees, oh man. Yep, yeah, but then I get like 50 back, so it's no big deal. Except I lose 8 rupees in the process, so it's like, I don't know. And to enter this area, we have to kill this guy, which should not be too hard. Yeah, but I have a lot of money. It's because I barely threw any money in the pond in the beginning. And a big chest. Now, you might be tempted to go in the big chest, go and get its treasure right away, but I suggest not doing so because I missed something, and I will force you to watch me go back and find it. Now, but all it is, is a, um... There are these things called, uh, I think... Trick chest? Yeah, trick chests. And these guys want... Well, this one wants, uh... 50 rupees. They want money... Uh, before you can open them. So... 200 rupees, so I really got 100 rupees. Er, not 100, 150. Yeah, I... <laughs> then I proceed to lose money. So, I just lost 8, so, well not just, but, recently I lost 8, so, 142, so, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna go into great detail, but, that trick chest is pretty, uh, nice to have, have gone to for this boss, because if it's your first time going through, it can be tough, I remember having trouble with it. For some reason. And oh my god, it's Beetle or Deathbug. Hey, it's me, Mia. Tingle, can you hear me? That's one scary monster defeated together the treasure. I wonder where it is its weak spot. And then on the bottom screen it's pointing to that face. I didn't notice that the first time I was playing it, and as I was recording this, I was like, really? <laughs> It's just sad, so you have to actually pay attention. You have to be multitasking, actually. I don't. I don't know if it had a bomb like icon pointing it, pointing at it. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it would have a bomb icon pointing at it as you were. Excuse me, gonna kill it. So this is really simple. Just grab the bomb with the stylus. Um release it by pressing where the bomb is, obviously it's Tingle. Uh, Zelda tradition of three hits to two defeats. So, he's dead. Very easy. Now go and get all its treasure. Look at that. Uh, get it all, get it all. So I think you have a time limit on this actually. Um, big ones are obviously worth more, but uh, the maximum amount of money you can get from this is 1,000 rupees, and I got 1,000. So I have a lot of money right now. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot of money. And we got this thing. What do you want, Mia? Hey, well done. You're still alive. <laughs> Wait, that huge rupee looks like it can't be, but it is a super rupee. 
Super rupees are gems that possess extraordinary powers. The beast you just defeated must have gotten its power from a super rupee. Tingle, take that super rupee with you. I have a feeling you'll be able to use it in your adventure. Look how Teddy Toto is just down there, like, being all glorious. <laughs> goes in his butt. And now we have the tablet. You can't really do anything with it, it's just for show on that. And I love this. And it goes out. That's so cool. And you can see there's a little goatee in that. Oh, so this is hilarious. <laughs> we did it, man! We got the hero's hidden treasure. We make a good team, don't we, man? <laughs> uh oh. I'm stuck, man! Ow, Chouch, don't leave me like this! Helped you out back there, right? I fought alongside ya. I was one huge monster. I'm black and blue all over, man. You saw me help ya, picking up the rupees? Now I'm stuck here, covered in bruises. Ow, Chouch, give me the share. So, we just have to give him a hundred rupees, not that much. I mean, if you didn't get that many rupees, eh, I don't know. That's the minimum. You could give him a thousand rupees if you felt like. But then he'd just be a greedy bastard. <laughs> and he suddenly has the power to get out. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he meant by what he said earlier. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so... Let's go back. Freaking... <clears throat> Mia. Stop interrupting me. That big fellow is a bit strange. He ran up with all those rupees. Not really. I'm gonna throw the rest in here. You look so cool. <laughs> that just amuses me for some reason. You look so cool. And Tingle isn't even supposed to be like a real hero, but he is, I guess. I don't know. I just find that funny. Also, more moss. I struggle getting out of here for some reason. But. I don't even know what you use moss for. I figured out you could get it when I was playing one time. So I put um, 10 rupees in the beginning of the game, uh, and you need 650 to make the thing, the, you, what, 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 what? It's a, t Power? Level 1 and 3 meters. Not too high, but... Oh boy. Bravo, Tingle. Surprise, the pool is really at the top of a giant tower. It has been awoken by the rupee's power and will continually grow. It will take you through the clouds up and up and up, and all the way to the paradise that is Rupee Land. Go to the other side of the pool and look at the world below. Okay. God, I hate this music. It's so annoying. Quite a view, isn't it? From up there, you get a bird's eye view of the world. Don't you feel happy when that you were one step closer? Blah, blah. You get a better view, means you can jump from here, yeah. Oh, Uncle Rupee. Sun, sunshine Seashore. Say that ten times fast. I double dare you. Double dog dare you. Um, that's about it for this part. Uh, we'll get a sun, sunshine. Man, I haven't tried to say that yet. Sunshine, shen, sunshine Seashore in the next part. Uh, yeah, I'll smell you guys later after the tower. Thing. So this is just comparing the tower to Tingle's house through the same height, I guess.
Anyways, we'll smell you later. Bye.